RandFX puts tree and shrub symbols on the layers LP tree and LP shrub respectively. It does not, however, put different tree or shrub groups on different layers. This power tip will show you how to select these plants quickly and place them on unique layers for a multitude of purposes. Let's start by organizing our trees into subcategories. Just select a plant or multiple plants and choose the subcategory from the dropdown. If the desired subcategory is not listed, you can create your own. I'm going to split the trees up into three types, deciduous, evergreen, and palms. Now, let's create the layers where we want to put these trees. If you want to retain these layers in future projects, save the layer state. Now that the layers are set up, we just need to move the trees to the layer where we want them. This step can normally become tedious and take a lot of time depending on the size of the planting plan. Luckily, the highlight tool speeds up the process dramatically. Starting with the desired subcategory, select a tree and click the highlight button. Press the A key to highlight additional similar plants in the same category. Press the S key to select all of the highlighted plants. Now put those selected onto the desired layer. Repeat for the other subcategories. We are now able to freeze layers and isolate these categorized tree types. This is beneficial for plotting different planting plans with different groups of plants, or saving different files to be separately used as external references. Now we can run a schedule, and only the trees that are on the unfrozen layers will be displayed.